For our last video, we did an unboxing of the JNS Alpha 2 biopilot reactor as you can see here. We've had this reactor for about a week now and are uh, pretty impressed with its performance. So we're just going to do a fairly detailed video on the different ways you can configure it and also how you should set it up. So first of all, we'll start with the bottom of the reactor here. This particular reactor comes with a pump, as you can see has come off the bottom here. Now that pump screws into the bottom of the reactor down here. And it's got this screw at the top which holds it in. So if you ever need to change over pump, it's very simple to simply undo this screw take your pump out, either replace it or give it a quick clean and then pop it back in here and screw it in. That's now in there nice and solid and shouldn't have any issues. So the next thing that I've noticed since running the reactor is you can see inside here there's kind of a twirling motion there. Now that is most likely what creates its vortex motion. Now you can see there's a hole in the bottom there. That's where this comes into it. This part here, this part here is a almost jet tower thing. You can see there's holes here which when you take this apart you can see it also has the same motion as the bottom of the reactor. So the water comes out of these jets and spirals, spirals it around inside. So, I haven't tried it yet but I believe you could probably take these out and probably cut these screws shorter and create a stronger, more directional flow down the bottom. Since running the reactor we've been fairly happy with the way it's been working so we're just going to leave it how it is. Now I'm just going to screw this back in and we'll then move on how to set it up. So here we have our bio pellets from our old reactor and also a couple of new ones. So what we'll do is we'll undo the top of the reactor up here. And then this is simply just a twist, so you undo the screws up here, oh, there's four of them, and then you twist it a bit and it slides off like that. Make sure that this ring stays here when you take it off and go to put the pellets in, oh, sorry not the pellets in, the top back on so water doesn't spew out everywhere when you turn it on. But we simply take the pellets, oh, tip the water out a bit. And the pellets go in here. Just like that. Once your pellets are in and you're happy with the quantity, simply put the top on. Uh, the great thing about this is you can change the direction of the outlet pipe. So the water comes in the bottom of the reactor down here, gets sucked in the pump, and then comes up through the reactor and out this pipe at the top. So, for example, if you want the water to come in from a particular direction, you can change the orientation of the reactor and then put this at a different angle. So, in our case, I want it to come out this side, so I'm going to put it this way. As I said before, make sure your o-ring is still in place correctly. Put the top on, give it a twist. Do up your four screws. Now, you probably want these finger tight, you don't want to over tighten them, otherwise you'll either snap the bolt you're likely to snap the, um, the screw there. So 
So once it's on, you can plug it in. But I'll just point out here first, down the bottom here is your volume adjustment. What I do is I turn it all the way down to the lowest setting, which is in this direction, clockwise. Whack the reactor in the tank. It's probably best to give it a quick run outside of the tank just to uh, remove any additional biofilm or plastics that you don't want in your tank. While I get in, and you'll see it'll start to fill up. Once it's full, your pellets will start to spin there. As you can see in this case, it's not spinning fast enough. So I'll just turn it up a bit. So you adjust the volume of water coming through with the nozzle on the front until your pellets start react uh, sorry start tumbling in the fashion you would like them to tumble. So now that's set up, we're happy with the setting on the pump. We're happy it's not leaking anywhere. What we'll do is we'll put it in the sump. So our choice for the location of this reactor, if I move this to one side, is to put it just here. Now the reason for this is we have the water coming out of our filters, uh, out of the tank down the filter socks. It will get sucked straight into the reactor and then the outlet of the reactor, because we've got it on this side here, will go straight into our skimmer. Now that's the preferred spot to have your the outlet of your reactor, so anything that comes out gets skimmed out and doesn't go into your tank. So what I'll do is I'll put that into the sump and we'll come back and see how it goes. Now we have the reactor set up in the sump. Looks like everything's working well. The outlet of the reactor is going directly into our skimmer here. Anything comes out should get sucked in. For the week we've been running it, we found that it's been doing a fairly good job. Um, obviously it takes a couple of weeks to get going. We did have seeded pellets from our previous Two Little Fishies reactor here. We found that our nitrates have come down a little and the phosphate seems to be steady at the moment but we'll see over time if that improves. But overall, it seems like a great reactor, fairly customizable and also definitely does the job well. Over the two little fishies we found that it's obviously doing much better at tumbling the larger amount of pellets. Uh, we do have other clients that have the Two Little Fishies reactor with the bio pellets tumbling well in it. In our case it didn't work and we needed more pellets so we went with this guy. So thumbs up. We'll keep you posted in our later videos. We will be doing a video in the coming weeks of the Proflux. So look forward to that one. Rate and subscribe. Thanks.